<laughs> all right before and as we're getting into the reasons why i feel the mavic air 2 is the best drone released in 2020 let's mix in some clips of scenic rhode island and Massa southern massachusetts that, that gave me this impression as to why i feel so strongly about this drone let's see what we see <laughs> Be honest when you start talking about what is the best equipment out there whether it's cameras drones or whatever you know you have to look at it like a pie graph how much of the pie is actually based on what the equipment can do and how much of it is your biasness towards it whether it fits your needs whether your brain allegiance or whatever you know so when you look at you know what product is the best out there just keep in mind a lot of it is opinion based now in my opinion the best drone pound for pound dollar for dollar economically wise and also performance wise is the mavic air 2 for a lot of reasons the money wise 799 this drone can perform as much as any other drone that was released in this year uh at least i get into 6k 8k that kind of stuff but we'll keep that to the side for a minute because as far as i'm concerned 6k and 8k what the hell are you going to render it i mean it rendered what the hell are you going to work with it on and then what are you going to watch it on yeah it's great for punching in but now the Mavic Air 2 can punch in as well. It's performance, it keeps up with everything else. It has OcuSync 2, which is huge compared to the first one that had the Wi-Fi, very sporadic, I hated it. Not even just to fly out far distances, you're talking about anywhere around metal bridges, that kind of stuff, it was horrible. I, my, the, the signal would be erratic. Um, it was also loud, that first Mavic Air was loud as hell. I mean, it was like this attack of the swarm and bees coming after you. And I did like the design, I did like the picture quality, video quality, but between the interference and the uh, the noise it made, I, I don't know, I had a love-hate relationship with that drone. Now the second one, sure it looks different, looks more like the regular other Mavic series, but let's be honest, when you throw a drone up there, are you worried about what the drone looks like or what it captures looks like? So I'm actually not hating on the fact that it looks like the rest of the Mavic series. I, I don't need this unique looking, you know, Lamborghini looking drone out there. I, I, you know, I'm more interested in what the video quality it takes. But I've always had DJI drones, so I'm being honest. My bias, my tendency is to go towards them. But look when you look out there, whether it's the GoPro I'm using to make this video, whether it's DJI uh, drones I'm using, whenever you see a new drone come out there, it's the DJI killer, the GoPro killer. I don't, y all right, so everybody's comparing with the, guy, the, the product that's the king of the hill. Okay, I'm just gonna go right to whoever the hell is on the top of the hill. Now, the biggest comparison I guess people are gonna throw out there is the Autel uh, Evo Series 2. Now, I am not saying which one has the best camera. I'm not saying which one shoots the best color science because that's all to your pleasure. That's all to what you feel is the best when it comes to color science, that kind of stuff. But the Auto Evo 2 does have the better camera system out there. But does that make it the absolute best overall drone? I prefer the Oxync 2 transmission signal 
to the radio signal that Autel is using. And um, I don't know, I, I prefer the smaller compactability, less real estate taken in my, my bag when I'm out there doing my hike stuff like that versus the heavier one. And again, preference. I'm not trying to nitpick and bitch. The Autel 2 Series is a great drone. I just feel the Mavic 2 Air is the best drone released in 2020. Now, I don't believe it's the best Mavic out there. I'm still a big fan of the Mavic 2 Pro. I own it, I love it, I use it all the time. But the Mavic Air 2, I, I found since it's been released, and not just because it's the new shiny toy, I've been grabbing a lot this summer over the Mavic 2 Pro. It, it's just been such a fun drone to fly. It is amazing. I mean, everything about it is so cool. It just, I just love it. So now let's talk about performance and why. Everything that's packed into this little drone. It's so much, I don't want to miss anything. Let me read off of the site really quick. Of course, it's got the half inch sensor. It, uh, it shoots up to 4K 60. It has the 48 megapixel uh, photos. It's got the enhanced HDR for photo videography, which again, photos is one thing. HDR video, that, that is just absolutely insane. Uh, panoramic, it's got 8k hyperlapse so it does have its own 8k even though uh, like i was kind of knocking it earlier i mean it's got it uh it's got its intelligent mode quick shots you can fly longer with it it's got up to 34 minute uh max flight and let's be let's be real when it comes to the uh the flight time none of them you can fly as long as they say not a single drone i mean they have it hovering no wind condition for it's it's not it's but it's the longest mavic series drone out there and it's also the only Mavic series that I've ever flown with 4K60. Um, you got the OcuSync 2.0, which is up to 10 kilometers of range, about six miles. And not that you're a range hound, but what it does do is it gives you that solid, rock solid signal in those areas that might have a higher interference, which is drastically important. And, you know, just going through it, you can see it all yourself into here. Again, you don't need me to read it to you if you can find it yourself, but I'm just saying all of this performance into a drone that fits a variety of people and needs. If you are just getting into the drone field, this could be a good entry level drone and the video quality that it shoots or photography quality that it shoots, you can use it in pro settings as well. Don't kid yourself. So when you have a drone that has that wide variety, I gotta tell you, and I keep hopping on the price point, $7.99 straight out the box with the remote one, uh, one battery and everything. I like the Flymore combo, but even the Flymore combo at $9.99, you cannot go wrong with this drone. Again, opinion based. But that's all I got for today's video. This is all the stuff I wanted to show you over the summer of 2020, which has been anything but a normal summer. It's been crazy. I've been going all around Rhode Island as much as possible because you couldn't really travel. And I'm not around anybody, so I don't have a mask on right now. But let's just hope we get out of here safe. We get out of this thing done we get the vaccinations out or it just runs its course whatever it is let's just i'm hoping 2021 is a hell of a lot better than 2020 because it's been crazy but regardless i've been flying all around all, all the summer of 2020 and been loving this drone so if you have any questions on it hit me up below if you want to discuss anything on it again throw me throw some let's talk in the comment section and if you like to give me a thumbs up oh if you want to see more subscribe later